Not a great day for auto even globally, uh, Puneet, because BMW, I believe, has come out with guidance cuts uh, worldwide and uh, important from Indian market perspective also because of the number of listed players that supply to BMW. Well, definitely, you know, uh, Europe essentially is getting into a shaking ground. We have seen, you know, uh, talks on Volkswagen also, you know, shutting their one of their plants down essentially. Uh, uh, and they are right now bound by an agreement that they can't do that. So roughly around 3 lakh jobs might be affected because of that. But right now we're looking at BMW. They had the investor presentation released yesterday. And it's not a very pretty picture on the numbers and the guidance that the company has given for 2024. Specifically, they you know, they expect the EBIT uh, margin guidance for the automotive business specifically to be around 6 to 7% and for context this was around roughly 10.8% reported in 2023. Uh, the other thing they're expecting deliveries also of cars to be slightly below the last year's level and mentioning that for, F, uh, for 2024 on a group uh, PBT level specifically is also decreasing significantly. They haven't given a quantification on this but that's another negative to watch out for. Capex ratio has increased and so has the R&D ratio to sales and that's another thing to watch out for. Finally they're expecting the free cash flow for the automotive business to come in around 4 billion euros versus roughly 6.9 billion euros in the same time last year and also saying that the share buyback program for another 2 billion euros uh, might be you know they will have to evaluate that going forward as well so that's one of the key negatives here because both Mercedes as well as BMW are the key suppliers for Indian automakers who are exporting their products there uh, while we have we have seen you know certain uh, companies call out their agreements with BMW such as ZF commercial which is listed on the exchange as well as Force Motors. There are a few others that might have not called it out but are very big suppliers in Europe. So, for example, Madarsan Sumi is a very big supplier of Mercedes. Roughly 20% of the export sales come from them. But they are also slightly supplying to the likes of BMW as well. Apart from that, you know, uh, the likes of, you know, Seat also supply to their tire makers going forward. Uno Minda is another key category that we look at. One of the other suppliers, they, not, they don't call out the client specific, uh, you know, ratio what, what it currently is on exports but it may end be other than some of the other ones who are very big in Europe specifically are endurance tech as well as CIE automotive listed on the space so these auto ancillaries might have a difficult picture for exports going forward for tire makers they've already called out that Europe this year might be a difficult transition so slightly negative let's see how the stock react back to you Absolutely. Just to recap that list, and you mentioned some of those, and this is, uh, you know, the, the Bloomberg sort of list of suppliers to BMW. So, Samvardhan Madhusan, Seat, Tata Steel, Apollo Tires, Uno Minda, JBM Auto, some of them. I'll go a little slower. Um, Endurance Tech, Minda Corp, Seat. CIE Automotive, Rico and Rane Brake. So you could see some impact. I mean, I, I reckon it is um, the world over you are seeing this. So I don't know if you're going to see a massive impact today on these auto and companies. Might be but more of a domestic story. 